Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm really glad you're here. I'm here with Missy Lou Lulu. Ann. Miss <laughs> Luann over here. The other Luann. The other Luann. My name is Luann. Her name is Luann. What's the chances of that? We just enjoyed a um, six week journey all through uh, Arizona together. And today we're doing the big van tour. She promised. You've been asking and she promised. <clears throat> so this is a 2016 Toyota Sienna. 2016 Toyota Sienna with new beefed up tires. Absolutely yep. beefed up tires. Beefed up tires. She's got the new rims. She picked the black, which is, they look really sharp. 17 inch rims as opposed to 19. Yep. Something I found out about recently. So it's the smaller the rim, the bigger the tire you get because you only have so much space for a tire. So it makes sense, but yeah. I never thought of it either. The yeah. bigger sidewall and wider tire. Yeah. So, um, so how long have you been traveling in this van? And like, just uh, you've been traveling on and off. Three years, I guess. Three years. Yeah. COVID. When, that was twenty twenty. That's COVID, when you. Yeah. That's when you went out and got the van. You were like, no, that's when you decided, I'm gonna do some traveling. Yep. And I think I was lucky because I got it right before the prices went sky high. And I went through a dealership, but this car was covered in hail damage. I mean, there was not a square inch that wasn't hail damage, especially the the hood. And I, as some of you know, I go down to Mexico and I took it down to Mexico and they redid the whole thing, filled all the the dents. And I mean, I can't even guess how many there were. And I think it cost me and painted it. And I think it was like $2,000. Wow. Unbelievable. When I first met you two and a half years ago, you, you had saw it. She had all the hail damage and she named it Dimples. And I loved that. <laughs> and when she told me she got rid of all the dimples, I was, it was a little sad. I kind of liked the dimples. Yeah. I liked them. But I was glad to get rid of the dimples. She was glad to my get rid neighborhood of them. didn't. Dimples in the car did not suit my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> it suited me, though. I thought it was cute naming it Dimples. It was just covered with uh, hail damage. But the price wasn't. Yeah. 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 So yeah you got so. a good price. And on. then, too, I mean, at that time, vans were becoming in yes. demand. Yeah. So most people didn't want a hail damage, very dimply van. But <laughs> I, I saw you underneath. Had a yeah, you yeah. Had a and I even taught my, my grandkids, I usually do quotes for them. And so I wrote a little story about Mr. Dimples and said, you know, it's, it's what's inside that counts. Aww. So, yeah. That's sweet. Will you show us inside? Reluctantly, but yes. <laughs> is, is, is the $2 swimming pool in here? It's somewhere in there, I'm sure. <laughs> so. Okay, the first thing is the bed, and I made that. It's a very simple construction because it's, just, it's made in three parts. I think the middle part is 25 inches. The end parts are 15, and they're on hinges. So it's easy for me to store things under them. And uh, also, my house is small. So it's easy because I can fold it up. It's easier for me to manage getting it in and out of the car and also storing in the house. So you can you don't keep this like this. You convert it into a... Correct. Yeah. I just, I I don't, do, yeah, I still carry my grandkids. I still have to go back. So to you the, set it up for camp and then when you go home, you disassemble the disassemble whole thing. Disassemble everything. Yep. And then I put just, of course, the Toyota has the trolleys. I took out the second row seats, but it has the trolleys. So I pushed the trolleys as far forward and then just put a piece of plywood over them yeah. to make it even. And I didn't do the whole floor because all I re really wanted was a place that I could put my drawers. Now, I used to have a set of drawers that would fit right in between the trolleys. But for this trip, I needed a bigger set of drawers. And then I put the shelf on top just to make it even. These are the little back of the seat uh, yeah. hangers that you get from Amazon. Yeah. And... It comes two for $12 or $14, whatever. I actually could hook them together. Ah. And so then I was able to just hang them across so you, the one, drawers. One hangs on so the other I've got side? another set. Wow, that's awesome. And these are for things that I use a lot. Well, yeah. I have, don't use my bear spray a lot. But you want it Thank handy. goodness. But it's handy. My toothpaste, sunscreen, earbuds, yeah. various things like this. This changes a lot right right and um yeah this works now also i'm one for securing everything when i drive 
So I have this secured to the headrest, and then I just pull it up uh -huh. and uh, pull it tight. And, what is, and it, then what, it, what is it secured to on the floor? Uh, the, the trolley. Oh, the trolley. The, and oh. he has a rail across it. Yeah. And so I have that threaded under the trolley. Yeah. And so it holds everything. It holds the wood in place. It holds my drawers in place. I also, I have under my flooring, I have the tiles that lock into each other. Yeah. And then I put a cargo mat over it. And then I put a bit of yoga mat, which was useless because it kept getting balled up. It wasn't thick enough. But that means my floors are padded because I don't have the best knees. And it doesn't bother me at all to crawl around on my knees in this, walk around on my knees with all the padding. So that works out great. Yeah. So my bed is a three-inch memory foam. And then I have a thermo rest on top of it. A, a, the thin blow up its, it blows up itself thermo rest because I have the uh, memory foam. And it does get hard when it's cold. Some people say it doesn't, but it does. So the thermo rest is like a camping... A camping mat. Self-inflating camping mat. Okay. And I have that on top. Oh. And that's been very helpful because the times it, it did get hard. And I'd say it gets hard in the 40s. Wow. And uh, that still gives me that padding. You can see here how I've done the three parts. And when I attach my leg, I had it overhang a bit. So it still sort of supports the third. Now, I keep my seat up. And it kind oh. of works as a chase lounge. Oh, the whole back seat is up. Yep. yep. Yeah. Or oh, yeah. sometimes, depending on what my angle is, I might sleep at this end if one end is higher than the other. I also, again, I have a chain, and it ties to the floor holders that the chair goes into, yep. the seat, and that secures the bed. While you're driving. Because when I first started doing it, people would say, uh, pack as if you're planning for a rollover crash. And so I try, like I say, secure everything. Yep. I also leave my back seat up. I don't like to sit on the bed because if you're up, and you know, with us coming in, getting dark at 6 o'clock, yeah. I like to read, and it's not comfortable sitting up for me, and I'm not one to sit in the bed. And uh, I also have a very small ottoman that contains some essential parts, which I won't go into, but most people can figure what the essential parts are. Is this it is... your party? <laughs> Shh. <laughs> and this is my in-house trash can. I use this all the time, whether I'm camping or not. That's, I always have that. And it comes in handy for this. But with, with this set up, I can still sit here and read and uh, have my footrest. Oh, yeah. you got like a little recliner in there. Yeah, and it's super comfortable because I can still set the bed up yep. or set the seat up for whatever. Yep. And also I have my seat pretty much all the way forward, my front seat. The driver's seat. And then I also can recline my back seat on this particular seat. So I have 77 inch bed, which is plenty. Yeah. So that works out great. Sure. But this, I can't tell you how comfortable it is. I've got a Lucy light there. I've got so many lights. So many lights. But that's the one that's the Lucy light hanging you, up now. Is it, you, so you use that all the time? Yeah. Until it, I forget to charge it. And then I grab another one out of the bag. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see this. But across the top here, that white rail that's called screen molding. And uh, Lulu, I don't know if you can see that binder clip how it fits into that, the mold in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just put my curtain across there. I have a real, they're like flight blankets. And I just put that across. And especially if I don't want to put my front um, screen windshield cover. And that's plenty. And then I'll, later I'll show you the one that I have, how I did it in the back. So that's pretty much, you know, and I see people with all these cute little cushions, and I think, who wants to mess with all those cushions taking them on and off? But this is for extra linens. Uh, it has so many uses. When, so it looks like throw pillows, but it's actually but, storage. But it's actually storage. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I have areas up there that I can put stuff between the, the drawers and the bed. 
But we'll see this better from the other side. Now, this is packed up, ready to go. This is my small water container. I think it's three liter. Well, 12 liters, so I think that's a, close to four gallons. I always like to have a hand washing station. And I love, this is new, and I love it because it has two handles, which makes it easier for me to handle. Plus, it's got the big fill hole. But uh, we can put a reference to that on uh, yeah. so you where just, I got it from you Amazon. just put that outside and use it as running water. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got a tote under here. And because I can lift my bed when I was talking about the hinge. Oh, yeah. And again, secure. Yeah. And then, oh, great for little pieces. And then I usually put this across and it holds it. This is my pantry. It's pushed to the side. But see how it has the side opening. So I just can lift it from this side to get anything out of my pantry. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to go in from the top. Yeah. So this is great for little bits and pieces. And I can slide all sorts of stuff in there. Oh, every nook and cranny. We yeah. take advantage of every yeah. nook and cranny. Yep. And here we have the garage. Uh, this has changed configuration so often. So this is all behind that back seat. Yes. And okay. the reason why I like to leave the back seats up is because it gives me that added security when I'm driving. Yep. It protects all of this. And you'll notice that I have the headrest behind the driver's seat, as high up as it can go, yeah. that also acts as a barrier. Just, you know, just thinking nope. ahead. You Be prepared. You don't want to get clunked on the head? This no. rack I've had, this is one thing I wouldn't give up is this rack. Because if I'm packing, if I'm going camping for like two weeks, I'll have this rack sitting. If I'm, you know, have a picnic table, I'll have it sitting up and leave everything outside if I'm not in bear country. Put my stove on top of it. And this acts as my kitchen. But right now, I just use it for storage in our type. And here's all my, one of my tables. Oh, oh there's the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you can see security. It attaches to, attaches to one of the, this is just a catch-all, all my bungees and tie-downs. And this is my kitchen. This is my breakfast kitchen. This has peanut butter, cereal, oatmeal, uh, stevia, powdered milk. And I've gotten, because I'm not a big milk drinker, but if I want cereal, it's there. This is my coffee. And it's got my coffee, a, a jet boil, which I love because it boils the water so quickly. A cup. So I only have to pull that out in the morning if I want my coffee. Then this is general cooking. It has my frying pan, cutting board, utensils. And the, this started out as a drawer set beside my bed when we started out. But it was just, it just didn't work. So I took the drawers out, got rid of the other part. And they I've turned this particular shelf upside down because now it has a little lip. Oh, yeah. Great and idea. You can, and these fit in. I've got those pushed to the back, that pushed to the back, and then this one to the front, because that's the one I pull out the most, and it holds the others in. I also, on this rack, I don't have this shelf secured, and I use, I don't know if you can see these hooks, long S hooks. That way, if I want to pack underneath it, I just take these off, and I can just lift the shelf. It moves freely. Uh -huh. This was one of the better ideas I had. This really, really works. And then two, when it's down, it keeps this stuff from spilling out. Yes. And in some cases I have just not put, the way I did have it configured, I didn't even have the S hooks in it. I just had shorter ones and let that fall all the way down to hold it. But this kind of keeps everything secure. And then my large water can, jerry can, and I did have the electric pump on it, 
but it goes out and it's so slow it drove me crazy so i got this one for 20 pesos in mexico and it's a pump and it works great my cooler and i've got all well that piece of wood i use for something else but my cooler i can't couldn't believe how these three things fit in there perfectly yeah look at that it just it just that worked and um so i keep anything extra on top of my cooler because it keeps the ice longer mm -hmm. and i did have this seat down and had the cooler sitting up but the, and it was easy to access at night or if i didn't want to get out and it was good but now that i've tried it both ways i do like having the seat and again when it comes to travel it's security here's my other hook that fits down on one in there and then again all the little extra places you know back here i've got extra bowls i've got uh my propane i've got everything behind this that little rack so it does keep everything secure and i guess that's the bulk of it when i'm finally packing up this little folding table fits perfectly in here and again offer security to hold in that then i hook that that piece of wood goes in front of it because it fits on the top of something else that i use for a table these are all my cleaning supplies don't really have a good place for them but i found that this bag fit over the container and everything that was in it so again if it tips over it's got a little bit of security but I've got a small cooler that I put back here. And then when I do have everything packed up and have that hooked, it'll hold it. So you have a second cooler? A small one, yeah. So do you use ice in that cooler? Well, you know, at first it was going to be for my, I love seltzer drinks, the canned seltzer. But, you know, I just quit using ice and quit worrying about ice. So it became my kitchen so it's, like a so it's got it's yeah it's spices yeah. and oils and now vinegars what, how are the, look at those spices they're like in little tubes what's up with that yeah aren't they cute yeah a, a friend gave me those little tubes are they were they for spices or are you just well the they idea? were for a particular kind of spice <laughs> that they don't sell in all states and uh and so and you repurposed i did there you go and aren't they perfect those are perfect look at those spices. and then i just have have them all you know these are things that i don't use a lot of mint yeah um that's a great idea yeah i like that idea for spices and they're perfect yeah because then you can have bring a lot of different ones without having all those bottles exactly nice idea. these little wine bottles Oh, yeah. are great for things like oils and vinegars yeah and then like something that i use a lot of i would have i would carry the full container yeah yeah salad seasoning bouillon yes i know it's high in salt but when you're camping there's some things you just don't worry about yeah so and that's something that I got from one of the little stores that so sweetly shared mayonnaise. And no, there was a that, there was a story behind that because we made a trade because I was in taking a shower and I didn't have any hot water, so they offered me my money back. And I said, you said "No, I'll nah, just steal that's from all your right. Stuff. I'll just take some mayonnaise and mustard, and and these things are great rather than having to cut, yeah. you know, keep something in the cooler." Mayonnaise sounds like a good trade to me. It was. And this is, you know, when you got company coming and you hide everything in the closet? This well, when Lulu said we're going to do a van tour, you I thought, hit everything ah, this right here, that's, that's my hamper, my that's dirty clothes. So at least it's all in one place. This particular tote contains most of, because we had to have warmer clothes at the start. So it contains most of my warm clothes. This is just a catch-all because I didn't have anywhere to put it, you know, hide it from the company. A jacket because I have to reach that quickly in the mornings, every morning. Oh, that's my solar panel. I have 
uh, 60 watt rock pal solar panels that I've had for years. I have the 240 Jackery, but I don't, I don't use electricity. So all I charge is my phone. I think I've charged my laptop once or twice, but I haven't really been using my laptop because I don't have Wi-Fi on it. So all I really need it for is charging my phone. I can charge most of my lights, but most of my lights are have a solar panel on them, so I don't really need to. So, yeah, I don't really worry about I I've only had my solar panels out one time in this whole trip. Because you charge the 240 Jackery while you drive. I do that, that too, pretty yeah. much tips because I have two AC on. outlets on yep. my car, one in the front and one in the back. So if I'm driving, and it charges so quick. I mean, really On quick. AC, you said? Yeah. You have AC outlets in this car? Mm-hmm. I have one in the front and one in the back. Oh, I'll show you. I never heard of yeah. such a thing. Yeah. It's a Toyota. So here I have my 12 volt. Yeah. And here I have my AC. Oh, well, no wonder why your thing charges so quick. I didn't know you had a plug plug. I have two of them. Oh, my gosh. The outlets are... Yeah. Oh, great. I know a lot of us have, a, well, I have a terrible time, the Toyotas especially, to put the back panel on at night. So oh, what I go. did, again, I have this screen molding that I get from Home Depot. It's something like $5 for eight feet. And I thread it through. So I just pull the the handle down and push it in there. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. But because I have it coming from the top slanted in, it's going to lift the back. So I'm going to disappear for the second. And you can see my magic curtain. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant idea. And even during the day, if you need to cover your window quickly for some reason or another, it's very easy. And in fact, you can leave it up because you can just put, push the curtain to the side. Right. So you pull it over for privacy. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the quickest, easiest, yes. better ideas that I came up with. And again, I use the screen molding. And it even, it would even protect, give a pretty good protection against, bug, against bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one thing more that while we're standing here, I know a lot of people hear about the rain guards and these things are worth the weight in gold and they're super easy to apply. I've been through the car wash many times. They've never loosened, but even if I had to replace them every year, I wouldn't mind. It's a very helpful. What's great about the Toyota uh, is these windows come down. On my Dodge Grand Caravan, they, they were all stationary. Oh. The only windows that went up and down were these. So that's the beautiful thing about the Toyota, too. So that's that's it. That's it for my van. This this looks kind of messy, but you know, you have to decide between messy and service value. Yep. What's valuable to one person? You know, we're yeah. all different. We're all different. But thank you so much for showing everybody your van. It was. <laughs> She promised six weeks ago. And finally the last day. And it's day. the last day. <laughs> we're, we're, we're about to hop in our vans right now and take off, winding down this trip. Yeah. So um, she did it. She came through. Yay. Thank you so much. And thank you. Bye for now.